<laughs> but what is, but what is, what is the old the lady? Dark, what's, dark, what's dark the... fox. What's There's the... a ghost. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the PJC cast, where we do would you rather's and other fun things. My name is Dane. I'm Jimmy, and we're here in the hot tub. Don't you, don't you grimace at me? Well, you skipped. <laughs> what did I skip? What are we known as sometimes? Oh, the Project Kuzi crew. Yeah. yeah, you you that skipped that, true. and then like everything, like in the Jenga tower fell for me. I was like, oh. <laughs> we can't start the show like that. <laughs> Jimmy, you want to start over? No, mm, you sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is my only my second week back after not having gone anywhere, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, I was gone a week. You've uh, you got to surgically reattach the podcast to your <laughs> to your body. That makes me think of when they were growing a human ear on a mouse. Did they do that? Yeah. Why did they do that? Uh. <laughs> Science. <laughs> They're like, can we? Probably. Let's see. No, it was uh, it was about you know growing growing new parts for humans. They can do it on a on the mouses. I remember. I very so. I'm sure my mother would deny it <laughs> at this point. Uh oh. But I very distinctly remember when I was very little, uh, my mother telling me a story that she read in probably some bullshit checkout magazine. Yeah, mom stories are um, some. Where a guy like lost his arm in like an accident or something. Mm-hmm. And then it grew back. <laughs> No. <laughs> and, and I was mom. like, and she was like, yeah, because like starfish can do that. And th- that happened so with this man. What? And I was like, wow, really? <laughs> and so for a while, I was just like, yeah, we can just, we can, that's, we hey. can just do that. And and when we're in trouble, uh, we can just lose our arm too. Like it just pops off. Yeah. Like a salamander's like tail. Like a salamander's tail. Man. Uh-huh. One time I was in so much trouble, my feet fell off, and <laughs> and I had to crawl out of there. <laughs> what were you in trouble for? Uh, tax evasion. Oh, that's fair. They'll put an ankle bracelet on you, but then it'll just slip oh, off. You don't have a foot. Right off. Uh, there's a new video game out there that a bunch of my voice acting comrades have, have participated in, um, and it's a Viking game. Um, where your power is that you can throw your body parts everywhere. You can like de- detach your body parts. What is, what is it called? Um, I think it's called Wellheim Hassel or something like that. That's funny. I'll have to look it like up. Like the scream, the Wilhelm it. scream. Maybe. <laughs> but but it's this it's this kind of tongue and cheek t- tongue and cheek uh, Viking theme puzzly game where the the mechanic is that you can throw your arm, you can throw your head so you can see into places, and then you roll your head around. That's funny. I like it. I tried to look it up, and I failed. Oh, yeah? I don't know. That I typed in Wilhelm and Viking, and it must be something else. <laughs> <laughs> if I Google Viking game, do you think I'll get there? Yeah, Viking maybe. Viking game. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's t- Oh, my phone exploded. Dane. This is your fault. I'm I'm gonna look it. Up. I'm looking it up right now. I'm gonna tell my favorite Viking story. One day, a Viking came to shore, and he Helheim told me. Helheim Hassel. Helheim Hassel that's, is the name of the game. That's that's not a scream reference. That doesn't even look like a Viking. That's well, that's that's a, that's a Mr. Rogers. Okay, no, but that's that's one of my teachers, Brian Summer, who oh. is very very funny and does video game voices. Decidedly not a Viking though. No, but he he did the um. The commercial for them, and they get meta with it, where he's like, uh, are you sure you want me to say it? this? Because this seems really weird. You know, that oh, kind of sure, thing. Sure, sure. Yeah, and they're like... They're in the booth. Um, Mr. Summer, you must uh, say the thing. 
<laughs> but it's just him both times. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> him talking to himself like a DM in a in a political roundtable. I just want to play D and D forever. Yeah. I just want to play it every night. <laughs> Who cares? Escapism. I need to escape. Well, let's escape into the world of Would You Rather. Just because dive, that's, nestle, uh, that's what in. we're doing here. Nestle and um, Nooks and Crannies. Yeah, you know. Um, this this one's a, a three for... This is from Would You Reddits. Um, would you rather be in a movie as a... Oh, did we do this one? I don't know. You didn't say it yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> uh, would you rather be in a movie as a main character, a side character, or just an irrelevant extra? I don't feel. I I I feel like we've done a similar. I I want to say that Stephanie Ed perhaps gave us a similar yeah. question, but I don't think we've answered this from Would You Reddit. So this is no. Fine. We did it from Rather dot com. They don't have tripos. We didn't. It, it, there was no irrelevant extra. It was uh so it was what were the three? Movie star No, I'm thinking of movie star and f- or friend of a movie star. Like be famous or yeah, be friend of a famous. Yeah, that is a thing we did. This is would you rather be in a movie as a main character, a side character, or an ir- irrelevant <laughs> irrelevant extra? That's it's not really that tough of a question cuz like I'd want to be the main a main character. Not me, man. Real, you, side character what? all the you way. You want to be the center? This this rings okay. untrue. Okay, 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 okay. Let me <laughs> let me explain to you. Oftentimes in in movies, the main character is the blandest one. It's the hero or or the one having all the problems or something, and then the side character are the are the scene stealers. Where everyone's like, oh yeah, that was a really great movie. Uh, so and so did a pretty good job. But you know who was really good? I guess it depends on the kind of movie. If you're That's thinking like saying. an American Pie, the only character I can even name is Stifler, Stifler. and Stifler's mom, I and suppose. Stifler's mom, uh, because he is that one. Yeah. But I, I would also argue he's one of the main characters. He's just not the protagonist. He is not the protagonist. He's not. What about what about uh, Jason Biggs' dad, played by? He is uh, a side character, right? Certainly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would love to be. Uh, what's his name? Who's that actor? He's in Shit's Creek now. Eugene Levy. Yes, I, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be a Eugene Levy. He so he's Eugene. he's made a career for being this the yeah. the main side character. Yeah, that's though. great. <laughs> the pressure's off. You get to have fun, you know. If I don't know, I that's, that's I'd want to. I think I'd be yeah. the main because I'd make it good. I'd be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so mm. bland, right? I'd. If, I'd <laughs> you, you hear about would actors? You use the wood. It would make it good. I there's a movie that I guess just came out and it has uh, Frasier in it. Uh, fucking <laughs> Doctor Niles Crane. No, what's Frasier his real Crane? name? It's Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, Kelsey Grammer, yeah, yeah. Um, Everyone, please look up episode 95. Kelsey Grammer loves dogs. Eats dogs. He eats them. He, he does. does. He loves to he eat them. He loves to eat them. Um, it's our best episode. It's two years old. Two years old. Um, best episode. <laughs> um, uh, he's in a movie now called Money Plane. And um, <laughs> the wheels are quarters, <laughs> and and it's 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 this the wings real, are hundreds. It's this real shit. Uh, Red Letter Media did a whole thing on it, and so I haven't seen it, but like I know a lot about it now. It's got like a, uh, I think Chris Jericho is the main. I've never heard that name. He's before. a wrestler. That's not a real person. Um, and he is an actor in this movie. Yeah, but he's not an actor like The Rock is an actor. <laughs> you know, he's acting. <laughs> He's acting, um, but like, so, so the, the, my my point though um, is that he's in this movie Kelsey Grammer and he's a bad guy, mm-hmm. and uh, but the the script sucks and the movie sucks and everything sucks, yeah. so he's just sort of like having fun with it, yeah, because every part of it sucks, so he just has to yell all his lines. He's like, I'm I'm the baddest motherfucker on this money plane or some fucking oh, bullshit. Oh boy. Um, but it's fucking Kelsey Gra- like Kelsey I don't when I think up badasses yeah. Kelsey Grammer's not up no. there <laughs> but he's like the badass oh, bad guy oh, of no. the film Money Plane I could see him as being a bad guy and I could see him being like menacing It's got it, but so if it was like 
like a, a like a real like a good movie you know <laughs> if it was if it was like a, <laughs> real, a villain, real movie if there was like undertones this was all tones <laughs> just like the tones play that tone tony <laughs> it would be a a a a is that an a solid i don't know the names of the notes I you'd need perfect pitch to be able to uh, just pick an an A out of the air like that. I could probably do it. I just don't know the names. I got real good ears. Well, okay, you could sing a tone, ah, uh, but yeah, but you can't like actually naming like, oh yeah, that's a whatever. So some I need people to be very can do trained. yes. Uh, people people could probably do like the tuning notes, so like a C or a B flat. But, like, to just be able to, like, pick that out, like, that's a tough one. I used to be able to tune really a guitar. Really good singers. I could tune a guitar without a tuner. Yeah. But that's pretty good. I got a, I got a good ear. You I couldn't play ear. the guitar, really. <laughs> but when I was attempting, I could tune it by ear. Right. Uh, and I was like, hell yeah. And then Jimmy, I was what like, if you had any... perfect pitch and you don't know it? I mean, I might. I, oh. got, I got a good ear. Yeah. I can, uh... Well, there's a difference between a good ear and perfect pitch, because perfect pitch is like, when you hear something out of tune, it physically pains you. It's like well, a blessing <laughs> and a curse. I don't know about that, then. Right. But I, I instantly know if something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah, I mean, if, if you hear something out of tune, you're like, oh, that doesn't sound quite right. But, like, perfect pitch people are like, oh, God! Why? Why are you doing all? Oh! That's what they say. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, you don't have that one. Uh, you don't have that one. I don't have that music-based disease. <laughs> um, would you rather? It's like a Fallout trait. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, stop, please! I never turned any of those on. The ones that like you get a boost, but you get a detriment. Yeah, I don't think I did too. I, I I, but you too, you'd too always turn up bloody mess though. Yeah, I got it. Because that was mess. free. <laughs> uh, would you rather never have to shower again? You were always clean, or never have to go to the bathroom again? Huh. That's a that, this is a good one. Hey, I like this one. Would you read it? That's user Eco Beast <sighs> one two three four five six seven eight nine. Fucking. <laughs> That posits <laughs> that there are almost two million others. <laughs> Reddit's a great place. <laughs> Full of worthwhile things. I mean, of users that have that name. <laughs> lot of he, eco went beasts. The, he went through the whole list. Oh, man, I really want this eco-beast handle. How far do I need to go? One, <laughs> two... <laughs> what do we more five six seven? Eight, eight. <laughs> um, man. All right. Real talk. Yeah. I think I'm like if I didn't have to go to the bathroom, that'd be the best. Would that mean you didn't have to eat anymore? Uh, we'll say no. That it doesn't mean that magic's that's, away. That's too. Yeah, right. it just magic. It it, it 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 teleports all your all your waste into the waste zone, the uh -huh. waste dimension, <laughs> where it's just all duties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean I've I'm I've been on the record as being a shy peer. That's true. Public restrooms tough for me. Baseball games forget don't about even it. Th don't even think about it. Like I've got to I've got to go invented at, that. What? Baseball games? Baseball troughs, P troughs. <laughs> I like what the fuck? I don't think those are real anymore. We haven't been to a baseball game in a while. I mean I've been to one, I mean, not that recently, but, I, like, in my life. Baseball troughs are myths at this point. <laughs> Baseball troughs were created by left-wing media oh. to make us afraid of QAnon. <laughs> Baseball troughs. Uh, baseball gate. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> It's a whole ring of baseball eaters. Sacrificing them to Yogi Berra. Yeah. Some get confused along the way and just start watching a lot of Hanna-Barbera, but, you know, it's uh, it's different. And <laughs> Yogi Berra. Yeah. 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 I don't like Hanna-Barbera. No? 
Not, not a Hanna Barbera guy. Not a fan. They have too many cartoons. You're a more of a Mary any, Melodies any, man. Anything else, man? <laughs> it's like there was a, there was a certain perfunctity to Hanna Barbera. It seemed like like there was a certain I I want to say a factory quality. I felt because they did they did Scooby Doo right. That was them. That was l- like late, yeah. After after the like peak peak Hanna Barbera, yeah. So that's like the 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 only thing that sort of has really really stuck. And I know that that's not decidedly true, yeah. but like like how like I can I can Jetsons, Flintstones. Yeah. That's what started them off, and then they started getting into they got your Hong Huckle... Kong Hong Kong Fooey. Hong Kong Fooey was even I believe later than that. Huckleberry, was Huckleberry fucking Hand, bullshit. Snagglepuss. Awful. Peter Potamus. Awful. They're like... Grape ha- ape? I hate him. He's a kaiju, though. <laughs> He's um, a kaiju. Him and, him and, him and Godzilla. <laughs> Together at last. I mean, they did a lot of, like, groups of people solving mystery ones. What, more? more yeah. than Because Hong Kong Fooey was one. Was it really? Yeah, it was this mystery solve. There was a uh, Nihai Pi. There was the Shin Chan, uh, Clan. It was a See, musical group. You're naming all this crap that sucks so much that I don't even know what it is. Well, because they used to play it on Cartoon Network all the time. I'm sure I've seen. And I watched. I was a. I was a Cartoon Network Nickelodeon man. Yeah, that's fair because it's good. Uh, uh, Jabber Jaw, Jabber Jaw. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's just so, nyah, it's like, nyah, nyah. it's like, hey, let's make a character. Uh, he talks like this and he's a shark. What does he do? I don't know. He plays in a band. He, he plays, plays in a, he, he's in a band. Fuck it. We'll put him in a band with a bunch of humans. And they solve S- mysteries. Slap a fucking. <laughs> Mystery on him. Slap an approval on that idea. Mr. Cocaine. Josie. <laughs> not, not at that point. It was all hard liquor. Um, and then Josie and the Boys yeah. That one was, I guess, okay. He had long tails and ears for hats. I, I'll never forget. I almost feel like I've also told this on the podcast before, but in the in the live action movie that they made uh-huh. in, the, in the early two thousands, uh-huh. there was a scene in this movie where uh, they were they were trying to raise money, I, I think, or something, and so they're they're doing uh, what the 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 dumb one, whichever one that was, right. was holding up a sign on the road like to to get to garner support that said honk if you love pussy cats but like she was hiding it's, it's part Tara of it Tara Reed, right? I don't remember yeah, probably. Don't. And she and and she was hiding part of it behind a tree by accident. Oh no. So it just says honk if you like pussy. pussy. Yeah. And this movie I think was rated PG <laughs> only. And, and Josie I, and the pussy. And I'm just like cats. um this joke is serious i am i am offended i am am young jimmy like i was laughing at it but i'm like i'm too little for this (laughs) joke too little (laughs) i don't feel safe (laughs) this movie makes me feel unsafe but (laughs) but but fun fun and safe here's another non hannah Barbera cartoon that i i've only it's something i've only ever seen smurfs it's it's from the 70s i'm pretty sure they're hannah Barbera. Go ahead. If, if they're Hanna Barbera, of course they fucking are, because the Smurf sucks. Um, <laughs> That's a real Smurfing attitude you got there, it's Jimmy. Awful. Um, no, it was a cartoon. Have you ever heard of this? It's 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 wait till your father gets home. Wait till your yeah! father gets home. Have you seen a late night cartoon <laughs> oh, night? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All I remember is that there was an episode about nudists, and it wasn't really a cartoon for children. <laughs> right. It was. It was a. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was based on a on a. a a, a comedian? Uh, news, no, a newspaper. Oh, really? Yeah, a oh, newspaper man. comic. And the dad was just a real. terrible conservative. Was he? That was the point of the show, I think. Oh, and my he God. was like, these damn hippies, and like it was the whole thing. It was real. It was serious. It was serious cartoon. And I was like, I don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I approve of everything in the, the father like says. It was, it was just so wild, and I... Tattoos are for bad people. Yeah, look it up if you can, because I don't. I only saw like two episodes. Ever. Okay, recast. Wait till your father gets <laughs> the dad played by Donald Trump. Okay, <laughs> I don't think I want to poop anymore. 
That was the would you rather that Yeah, because, we like, sh- you shower, and you- showering takes 15-ish well, minutes. It's very relaxing, and you only have to do it once a day instead of multiple times. You don't have to, like, stop what you're doing and being like, sorry, everyone, just pause the movie. I just need to take a quick bath. <laughs> I shit in the bath. I shit in the bath. I'm sorry to tell you all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have to make you pause the movie and wait for me to tell you this. <laughs> I have to go, what? But there's going to be a ring in that tub. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying that you have to do that to go to the bathroom. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. I don't want to shit in the bath. <laughs> I don't want to do that either. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you what? Just, you just gotta. You just gotta shit in that bath. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta lay a you duke gotta, in you the bath. You gotta switch things up. Oh, I got a story about that, but I'm not going to tell it. You shit in the bath? No, not me. <laughs> Who did? No, not going to tell it. They listen. They listen to the podcast. I'm not going to... They gonna... know. <laughs> they know. Now I have to think of everyone Dane knows. <laughs> One of them shit in the bath. I mean, they were very, very small. I got a story like that. Oh, really? <laughs> when I was a, like a baby. Yeah. You shit in the bath when you were a baby. No. <laughs> I don't, I'm telling all these stories that I feel like I've told already, but like, I have I, not heard a shit in the bath. Story no, it wasn't. From you, it wasn't Jimmy. in the bath. It wasn't in the bath. I, but I was like, I was I old enough to, re- pool. I was old enough <laughs> to remember, but still in diapers. Okay. And I shit. Uh-huh. And then I was like, I was little. I was like so little. Like Two and you, a half. I don't know why three. I remember this because I was so little. Yeah. I hope I wasn't in diapers at three, but you know, you get the idea. Yeah, sure. Maybe there were pull-ups. I don't know. And I threw it. On the wall. No! And it definitely, it certainly stained the oh, wall. right, and then you put a picture yeah, over it. Yeah, because, like, it stained the wall. there was so a there poop was a, stain on the there wall. There was a ballerina bear that just was always there. Right, and if you just, took it down, a little stain. There was a little poop stain. <laughs> Nobody ever have kids. They're terrible. Oh, bad. <laughs> I remember, my first memory, let's talk about first memories. Yeah. Uh, getting a bath in the sink. I remember that. That's very good. I remember wanting to get a bath in the sink later, and my mom being like, no, kid, you're too big. Because <laughs> I've always been a giant thing. <laughs> I've, always, I've always been too big. And so I'm like, hey, you know what was great, mom? Getting a bath in the sink. And she's like, nah, nah, dog. You're three now. You're too big for that. My, my, my parents used to... Uh, for Saturday mornings, so I'd wake up real early, and they'd leave me a glass of milk to pour into my cereal oh. because I was too little to manage yeah. the big ass milk, right? And I was, and so later in life, I was like, I, but I was, I mean, later in life, but like I'm f- six or seven or sure. something. Sure, I'm like, fast forward to I'm six like, years how old. How come you guys don't do that anymore? And they're like, well, because <laughs> you can, you can, just you can fucking it. hold it. What are you talking about? You're a big strong boy and now, I was Jimmy. Like, oh. <laughs> I want you to pour it in this cup for me. It's so memory is so weird because like I, de- I I remember my first memory being at the at the age of like four four and a half and uh-huh. I'm like leaning against these u- ugly brown couches that we had, but I also have memories earlier than that. Yeah. So it's it's weird. But I remember I remember thinking at the moment like I am alive. <laughs> like <laughs> this is my first memory. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm making it. It's, right it's now. weird. It was weird. I remember being alive. <laughs> that's a, you know, that's probably a first memory of self-realization. Yeah. Like, I am a human. I exist. Like, this is me. I'm, this is it. This is Jimmy. This is Jimmy time. But I just, it's weird that I also remember, there was another, so I, uh, <laughs> I, I was still in a crib and I woke up and I wanted to play and do anything else yeah. with me in that crib. So I, I, yeah, that fucking I start yelling. Cell, I'm yelling baby. to my mom. I'm like, mom, but I'm a baby. So my voice yeah. probably isn't like that loud. I don't know. Maybe. No, it's probably like mother, <laughs> mother, <laughs> mother, please. I have awoke. <laughs> mother, and, uh, let me frolic. And I'm just yelling. I'm like, mom, mom. And she's not answering because she's probably Mama. ignoringly because Mama. it's early and it's too early ah. and just go to bed or she's asleep and she's near me. Lois. Lois. And then, so I, but I'm big enough oh that I can manage I, to I, get a leg over. I'm going to say I, I retract that Lois, you know, I was, <laughs> I was making a family guy reference and that's just hacky. So I, I apologize to you, Jimmy. I apologize to our listeners. I apologize to my family. 
I apologize to the public. So I fell on my head. Oh, no! (laughs) And my mom told me that I looked like a little baby Klingon. Oh, my God! Because I fucking... God! (laughs) That's disgusting! Yeah, I don't know. Because I I just bruised up. You your head? I had permanent brain damage. No, I'm fine. Is that why your head looks like this, Jimmy? Like what? What Oh, no! What are you talking about? Jimmy, have you not looked in the mirror for 34 years? What's a mirror? <laughs> what is that? I'm a nun in a convent. I don't <laughs> look in mirrors. What is what is sex? <laughs> what is that? I see it on the internet all the time. It makes me feel weird. On my favorite website, Pornhub.com. <laughs> I only, I only watch Pornhub.com for the full movies that seem to be there, the regular movies. Did you that talk seem about that last up. week, or just to me in real life? I I I don't remember ever talking to you about this. No, you did because you said fucking Star Wars is on there. Did I mention that to you? Yeah, because like Colt sent it to you or something. Colt did send it to me, <laughs> and you told us about it. Did I? I wouldn't have known otherwise. Maybe. Maybe Colt sent it to you. Nope, he definitely didn't. Colt, <laughs> Colt, and I, Colt and I are not that. Colt and I are not close enough for him to send me a Pornhub <laughs> link that I would open. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I hardly ever open them either. <laughs> that means I'm he sends a lot. I'm afraid. No, I've, he doesn't send that many, but... Uh... God, I don't remember ever mentioning it to you. But yes, they have the entire uh, Star Wars... The third episode one. What is that? Uh, Revenge, Revenge of, the, of the, Sith. the Sith. Is that it? Because Clone Wars is two. Phantom Menace is one. Yes. Revenge of the Sith. That sounds correct. Correct. I've never seen it. <laughs> You've never seen it? I've seen episode one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You've never seen, You've never seen clones? No, because they suck. It's very bad. <laughs> yeah, they're awful. We you should, are a chosen one! You should do that as Patreon content. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to put you through that for Patreon content. Uh, <laughs> I'd only ever seen the... I, I saw episodes... I, I'm sure I've talked... Another thing I've talked about. It's uh-huh. fucking episode 230 for fuck's sake. <laughs> but uh, my cousin... My cousin was like super into Star Wars. Bad and cousin. And I didn't like my cousin. He's a bad cousin. So I... Excuse me. My, I was like, Star Wars sucks and fuck Star Wars. So I never watched... I'd seen episode one probably with him. Yeah. Or uh, four, I mean, but um, but I like I was just like, no, and then my friends at the ripe old age of like twenty eight, twenty nine, like were like, you need to watch Star Wars. Listen, so we watched. You them gotta all, get over this. And I was like, yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty good. I don't know, <laughs> they're fine. I'm sure I, as a child, I would fucking yeah. lose my shit over this. I'm twenty eight, and I already know the story. So, well, you know, Jimmy. You may not love Star Wars, but it's fine. Star Wars loves you. Does it? Well, also Is that lonely how many hearts. Work? Also lo- oh, lonely, lonely hearts. Yeah. And then- <laughs> oh. See what I did? Uh, so I we're going to do lonely hearts now. It's our segment where we take two online personal ads, we read them out loud, and we discuss whether or not the two people we read will fall in love with each other. Jimmy just pointed at me, signifying that I am the one to go first. Hell yeah. The title of this lonely heart. Oh, no, Jimmy. Oh, why? Uh, It's 29, male for female. (laughs) Anywhere. Uh, The title is Seeking a Trump Supporter. (laughs) Go on, though. All right. (laughs) It's very, it's wild. Okay. I'm going to trust you. (laughs) Okay. I'm from a blue state initially. Do we capitalize blue state? And now I live in an area surrounded by Trump supporters. I moved here for work and it's just too much. (laughs) And my phone just turned off messenger forever. Just turned it right off. (laughs) Um, I moved here for work and it's just too much. He's a troll and a dick and a corrupt piece of shit. But the people down here love him. (laughs) <laughs> they say he's willing to say the things that everyone is thinking. That the economy's in great shape, you know? Whatever the fuck. 
And no, <laughs> and no wonder how many facts you bring at them. No matter how many irresponsible tweets and gaffes you point to, point to, they absolutely love him. And it's combined with all manner of greed and racism and xenophobia. I've completely had it, honestly. I can't see another red hat on a red neck. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a little clever turn of phrase. But there's a part of me that's impressed. And I want a woman who loves this MAGA stuff to get in touch uh, to try and explain to me what the hell is going on and where and see where it goes. Hit me up if that's you. You must be well spoken. <laughs> also, if you're a fellow liberal marooned somewhere sucky, curious to meet you too. So message me. Interesting. I told you, you didn't trust okay. me. You all didn't right. trust me. Well, you know, red flags and all that. Uh, red hats. Red hats and all that. <laughs> okay, so this guy is trying to get a, a picture into the mind of a Trump supporter. Um, I see this as a fool's errand. <laughs> I don't think he'll find love doing this. Certainly not. I don't... That's... They, they say... Uh, Opposites attract, but I don't mm. agree with that at all. Yeah, hundred percent. No, you can't. Uh, what the fuck? What's it, just in general? What the fuck? Is there's no common ground? I mean, most of my friends, I'd say a lot of my friends, like close friends, are very quiet people. Uh huh. Um, and I'm a very loud person. Very but that's talkative. one thing. That is one thing, but that's it's not the core of who you it's are. It's a pretty big thing, but that's that is true. But um. I've seen opposites attract. I've also seen sames attract. Sames. It's <laughs> dirty sames. Fucking samesies. Um so I you know I I I I don't want to poo-poo this man's uh directive a, but I mean it really sounds like he's doing it for the for the lulls he's and not doing it for the lulls. Not because he's like into it. He's like, I just want a a wild evening of a of a of a mad woman explaining something to me. Yeah, it, the the fact that it's not male for anyone, and it's just for a lady. Maybe I can get a a, a sweet hate fuck out of this. He says, like some real weird sexting. Yeah, um, like hate sexting, but <laughs> <laughs> I, you know. He doesn't talk about himself more than than just he's liberal. No, but you, you sort of get a sense of him you a little bit. Get a sense bit. For, of him. I don't know what he what he's into. Intellectually curious, perhaps I politics. <laughs> Probably maybe <laughs> politics. <laughs> eh, maybe politics. Maybe. But um, yeah, not a lot to go off of besides the the ad. I think that he's going to get a lot of responses. Yeah, and they'll probably be mostly angry. Yeah, they're probably going to be angry, and that's what he's looking for. He's looking for somebody to engage with on that level. Did, um, did you see the uh, the the guy? They didn't say. I don't. I don't know why. Is perhaps for safety or legal reasons, but they didn't uh, say what city he was in. But it was the guy in one of the most racist white cities in America, just holding a Black Lives Matter sign mm. on uh, n- near the freeway entrance slash exit or something, or in front mm. of a Walmart or something. And just like all the, and he's not talking to anybody. He's just standing there, and he got so harassed. Oh yeah, like it was wild. <laughs> like people were like, "I'm gonna be back here in ten minutes, and you better be gone." Oh my god, <laughs> it's shit like that. They said just trying to, him. to intimidate him. And so I, I almost wonder if it's in a in a similar spot. I don't remember if he said where he was, but no, uh, he just said a red state. Yeah, uh, red perhaps, area, <laughs> red herring. That's a Scooby Doo. That's a Scooby That's a pup pup named Scooby Doo. Uh, uh, th- th- maybe he's hoping for a little bit of that. Get his fucking rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> just get all that hate. He just absorbs it like a <laughs> lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're right, though. He doesn't say a lot about himself, but I, 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 I don't dislike it's his attitude. It's an exercise in futility, I believe. Uh, good for him for trying to understand the other side. Weird that he's doing it in a dating kind of capacity. I mean, it's been in yeah, quarantine been... a long time. Yep. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Dane, are you, are you ready? I've been ready. For the ready. title of My Lonely Heart. Oh. 
by by user the best dirty socks. It's uh, twenty one female for male in uh, Wisconsin. Shoving pickles down my throat out of boredom. Oh, I'm just a wee lass. Parentheses twenty one. Who's in a bit of a lifeless funk today? I'm normally really motivated and busy, but today, I don't want to do shit at all. I took my kiddo to his friend's house, but I really don't like the parents that much. So if you're willing to stick around while I'm down in the dumps at home, uh, and home basically alone, I'd greatly appreciate it, slash sad face. New paragraph. I've literally been deep-throating pickles. (laughs) That's how bored I am. P-face. Edit. I'm in Wisconsin, not Ireland or Scotland. I just like the lingo, LOL, because at the very beginning, she called herself a wee lass of 21. Aye. And that's it. That's all. She's got a kid. She has a kid. She's deep-throating pickles. (laughs) She's bored. (laughs) She doesn't like the parents. So that's explicitly sexual, right? You don't just drop that you're deep-throating pickles on a lark. I Well, so, yeah, the first thing was I'm shoving pickles down my throat. That's not... Sexual language, but deep throat ding is sexual language. Deep throat. We're not we're not in Nixon era anymore. Deep throat is not Man, pickles are like acidic as fuck. That would hurt. Yeah, but they they're pretty slippery, so I would imagine. Yeah, but like they wouldn't they burn? (laughs) They might burn. What if what if it's all a ruse and they're like those little cocktail pickles? (laughs) Gherkins. Yeah. I just been shoving these gherkins down my throat because they're delicious. I eat delicious. them. Delicious. I can I can swallow them whole. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think the pickle would burn because then regular pickles, when you eat them, would burn your throat. Well, but they don't stay in your throat though. Well, vinegar. Who's, who's to say you that gargled she, vinegar? That you don't think that wouldn't hurt? Who's to say that she's holding them down? You, That's what it. De- you, it's like a sword sword eater. Yeah, but you don't hold them there. You like put them down and then you pull them out. Sword eaters do hold them there. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Are you saying that sword eaters invented deep throating? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Before God and the internet, there was s- sexy sword, sword eaters. Sword swallowers. <laughs> <laughs> they saw somebody sucking a dick and they were like, hey, where do you see this? <laughs> oh. Um, uh... I, I mean, she's looking for a hookup. I'd imagine. I'm I'm bored. While her of, son's away. Her, her kid's s- while away. While her kid is away. So, okay. <laughs> she's like, do you, do you have any pickles? Like, are you? Mm. She does. She also doesn't give any descriptions. No. Um, you, you, you infer a, f- a, a few things. A little bit. Um, I'd imagine this is just like casual, sexy time for her Maybe. she's like i want to hook up with someone and i want to do uh, it fucking right now yeah i only have a few hours because <laughs> my son will get tired i keep calling it a son she didn't specify a child it's a child this child my child my child um also i don't generally unless you're neighbors you don't generally hang out at the the playdate's house. Like, you drop the kid off, and then you go and do your own thing. I guess it depends on, yeah, how little they are. Like, and I'm and I'm getting the impression that maybe, you know, even though she's only 21, that maybe this kid's a bit older. Yeah. Maybe four or five. Yeah. Because that is the, a right age to drop off. Because if your kid's little, then you don't leave them. No. You don't generally leave, unless it's like a very... You have to like the the people that yeah. you're trying. If you them. don't like the people, this kid's old enough to have his own friends. To have friends, <laughs> and she wants some friends of her own. Um, I don't think these two people are going to fall in love with each other. I don't see Trump supporters as uh, pickle deep throaters. So no, missionary only. It's just <laughs> as God intended. <laughs> um, but you know, I think that that they might have a hookup considering he probably is looking for a hookup are going for females only (laughs) are pickles conservative or progressive discuss i think that pickles are conservative i think pickle juice is progressive drinking pickle juice that's what i'm saying yeah Yeah. that's what i'm saying i'm not ready for that future (laughs) 
Um, at a restaurant I used to work at, they sold a pickleback where you'd get a shot of uh, whiskey and a shot of pickle juice. Oh, That's a chaser. I hate everything about what you <laughs> yeah. just described. People love it. Uh, I, f- I always remember, I'm sure, again, we've talked about this, but I went on the most awkward date at that place that you yes, worked at. Yes, I remember. It's I the was only time, there. It's the only time I've been there, and I forgot that you worked there, because <laughs> we weren't roommates And I yet. forgot your name. <laughs> That's fine. We met once. <laughs> we had met once before. I was a dishwasher at a, at a Jewish deli, and Jimmy shows up with a date. <laughs> And I'm like, I know that a, guy. A first date. A first date. And I'm like, oh, hey, J- uh, I didn't know your name. I was like, hey, you're Jordan's friend. And you were like, oh, yeah, Hi. hey. And then I had, had to go back to washing dishes. Good story, everyone. And then I was like, oh, I got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> this date is going nowhere. It was a Monday. Uh, what, what always happens is I was, I would, when I was d- d- look dating women... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh-huh. not, and not in a relationship uh, uh I, I would always for whatever reason i'd like it monday would like be the day the date day all the fucking restaurants in any town are closed <laughs> on fucking monday except that restaurant yeah which i won't name all right um we are now moving on to the the ripe and ready w- would you rather it's bot. fucking ripe it's ready to go. Uh, would you rather bot is a neural net that spits out those good, good would you rathers on Twitter. Glad I forgot what the middle segment was and I was like, Oh good. <laughs> but, Once so you described it, please look them up uh, at W Y R underscore bot uh, and subscribe. You will not regret it. Oh, yeah. Our first would you rather from would you rather bot is would you rather a lifetime supply of chicken or a jar of weed? Uh, <laughs> How big a jar? No. A lifetime jar of weed. Chicken. Yeah, I think I think I want just a steady supply of high quality protein. Hell yeah. Even if it is knocking me out of ketosis. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I would pick the chicken as well. Uh, 66% of people choose that. Really? Chicken. Maybe the other. So it's a I don't. Lifetime supply. I'm assuming it's magic. But maybe they're like, there's a chicken a box. Of, there's a lot of chicken dying. Chicken box. But I think it's magic chicken. Just open the box, get and it. And you get to get choose every day how your chicken arrives, and one of your options is alive. It's like a subscription yeah. box, but daily. But, but daily. It's like a like a far side calendar of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you you rip off the paper, you put it in the in the microwave, and when you open it up, there's all this chicken there for you. <laughs> it's overflowing. Would you rather own an Enderman or the Destruction? Uh, Enderman is a uh, Minecraft thing. They're the ones that steal a block, and if you yeah. look at them, they chase and kill you. <laughs> Don't look at them. And they're tall, and they're they're, they're kind of spooky. They're like, I mean, it's Minecraft, so nothing's quite Uncanny Valley, yeah. really. But they're just like they're a little, little too tall. They're a Slender Man insert of yeah. a sort, but they're Enderman. Yeah, they're Enderman. Or the destruction. I don't... I don't know what own the destruction means. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to own any person. And ender <laughs> ender people are still people. Um, so I'm going to own the destruction. Like, are cats people? Yeah. Cats oh. are people, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. What are you choosing? I guess I'll have a little jar of destruction. <laughs> And then I'll throw it at my enemies. Smoke a little bit of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> get real fucking high. Uh, 52 would rather own an Enderman. Bunch of nerds. Uh, would you rather be a grizzly bear or be a polar bear? Grizzly bear. Ooh, rah, rah. Yeah, they're more f- fun. They're less Christmassy. <laughs> You think of it, I don't even drink Coke. <laughs> well, come come on, because they, they're in the Coke ads, the Let's polar bears. Let's think real hard. Which one is less religious? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, the grizzly bears were less religious. <laughs> More pagan, if anything. Yeah. Um, I think, honestly, I think I'd rather be maybe a polar bear, because they're, they're very noble, and grizzly bears are like, grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, ah, I'm grizzly. Ooh. The polar bears, I don't know, if you really think about it, they're really kind of polarizing. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think 
Grizzly bears um, are more. I like the, the 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 outdoors of the grizzly bear. They're right. always camping. But I like the look, the sleek look of the polar They're bear. They're always ice fishing and, and the, drinking delicious Coca Cola. That's right. Especially at Christmas. And they're making friends with penguins and seals and then eating them. Making friends. <laughs> making friends. Um, no, I'll be a grizzly bear. I'm already Because then you get to make friends with campers. That's true. Hey, boo-boo. Yeah, I think I'm grizzly too. <laughs> Is fucking Yo- Yo- Yoki Bear a grizzly bear or I'm... just a brown bear? <laughs> Probably a brown bear. I have to know. Uh, Yoki. Ooh. What kind of bear is Yogi Bear? Adult black bear. Adult black bear? Nah, he brown, bruh. But, I mean, a black bear... Well, a black bear is black. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, is that a bear bear doesn't know what's going on. Is that real? I guess so. You know, he has a collar um, and a tie Whoa. so that uh, they can save money on on uh animation cells oh sure because they just have yeah, to animate yeah. his head fucking classic shitty <laughs> hanna barbera <laughs> gotta pump him out uh 63 would rather be a grizzly bear he's you... an american grizzly oh according to <laughs> hanna barbera.com quora.com oh quora has been popping up in my searches lately and i'm not a fan of it but they're Occupation unemployed. <laughs> According, he's got it's like his ID. Yeah, that uh, sounds about right. I don't, I don't know. Jimmy, would you rather set a world record or break a baseball? Uh, I'd like to set the world record for breaking baseballs. Thank hey, you very much. Hey, two loophole, floor, loophole, two floor, la, 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 loophole, loophole, loophole. No, I don't need to. Ba- baseballs are hard. Uh, I want to break a baseball in front of a bunch of people and 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 like make them very impressed, like a phone book ripping. Yeah, you're just like, Ugh! I can do a trick where I can break an apple in half with my bare hands. It is a trick, and there's a trick to it. Uh, no, it's it's just raw strength. But but well, you, you gotta you gotta get it going though with your thumbs a little bit yeah but that's the trick little, it's like a, it's that like a is canvas. I guess that is the trick you um, couldn't do that with a baseball I might <laughs> gotta just get it started <laughs> I might seventy five percent of people would rather set a world record would you rather eat beer tequila shots Pepsi vodka or honey but very much. Honey. Yeah, I'm... That's too... You said so many things in the other beer, one. beer, tequila shots, Pepsi, vodka. So, you, I know it's all alcohol, but it definitely... The first time... Except for the Pepsi. <laughs> are, oh, they're all drinks, I guess. I, I thought you said taquitos the no, first time, and I was tequila. like... That sounds blue. Taquito shots. Taquito shots. I love taquitos. Taquitos are pretty good. Like those shitty frozen ones. Yeah. Ugh, Ugh, they're so bad, but so, so bad, good. So good. Yeah, I'll, I'll take honey though. Yeah, hang out with fucking Yogi Bear and murder him. <laughs> you're thinking, uh, you're thinking Winnie the Pooh. They all like honey. I don't know. He loves what? What else do you put in a picnic basket? But uh, lots of honey sandwiches, honey sandwiches, <laughs> peanut butter and honey. Make a bear go. Mm mm mm. <laughs> I didn't. I hadn't considered that, Jimmy. Thank that was you. one of my fucking summertime jams, though. Peanut butter honey. Yeah, hell yeah. I like peanut butter honey and banana. Ooh, yeah. I didn't have a lot of bananas growing up. Oh, I was a banana we were, boy. We were in a banana house. I, I lived on a banana boat. <laughs> I had a banana hat. <laughs> it was a banana boat hat. My hat was a banana. My house banana. I got How babysit- much could one banana cost? Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> got babysit by a banana oh yeah yes. was it appealing yeah good <laughs> would you rather slap <laughs> like this I held my breath <laughs> would you rather slap this sign or or slap this sign what what <laughs> would you rather slap this sign or or slap this sign the second one is or slap this sign and the fr- you said sign real long. Is it spelled Would you normal? rather slap this sign? You're saying it real long. <laughs> or slap, slap this. Oh, no! no! <laughs> oh, back by the house. <laughs> Bama lamb. Would you rather slap this sign or or slap this sign? I'll do the second one. Yeah? It's it's more fun. Guess the, guess the spread. Because <sighs> I'm going to pick the second one, too. 
Just Guess the spread, 50, baby. 50-50. You are wrong. It is 53-47. I was close, huh? The second one being 53. Hell yeah. <gasps> I knew oh, it would be. Would you rather a small dog that can chew hair or a large dog that can bite? Ooh. You're a big boy. You're a big dog boy. What? I know this. You like big dogs. No, wait. What the fuck are you talking no, you about? you like small dogs. I knew it was one or the other. <laughs> You were so confident, though. No, you like small dogs. I like small dogs. I do not like big dogs. That can chew hair. I guess I'll let it chew someone's hair. It can. It doesn't have to. It can. Yeah. I'll tell you this. Regular dogs can already do that. And they can already bite. Yeah. I don't want a large dog that can bite. No. What's a a large dog that can bite? (laughs) Aw. You're like, I'm just like, Aww. any answer to this is sad. It's sad. Let's not go down that rabbit hole, that dog hole. Uh, the, uh, hold on. It's the, uh, uh, the, the, the early Kanye dog. Cause he had his, uh, his, his mouth wired shut oh, for that first song. That's right. That's my joke. <laughs> that was when Kanye was like cool and impressive and not a yeah. disaster on stage. He's, he, the fame has done some things to him, I believe. Um, I prefer the. I believe. I believe I prefer the the thoroughbred breed of the um, Massachusetts mouthless. Oh, <laughs> the dog that, that can't bite. It, its mouth has been bred out of it, so it's just. Uh, it's just a nose at the end of it a still, face. It still does have a snoot, though. Yeah, it's got a snoot. I mean, gotta okay. have that snoot. House Unless you s- breed the snoot out of it, and then it's just a round then furry it's a ball at the then end. It's a pug. Without a mouth. Oh. How is it gonna do cocaine without that snoot, though? What the fuck? Tell me. <laughs> what? Why would? Why would dogs do cocaine? Why wouldn't it? Oh, dogs got a party, my dude. You got me there. Fifty-six uh, percent would rather have a small dog that can chew hair. Hell yeah. Would you rather be deathly funny, or you can't laugh? Uh. Would the you rather first one. be so funny that you kill people? That, that sounds great. You... What? Jimmy. You want to murder folks with your laughter? I just want to be able to. <laughs> I can't not laugh. Have you met me? Okay, but in this world... then The, the one we live in. In this world. The would you rather world. That we're... World. You, you just wouldn't laugh. You'd be Jimmy the non-laugher. No, that'd be awful. I'm going to pick... My laugh is on brand. You do have a branded laugh. (laughs) It's why my mom likes you better. Yeah. Um, Little old son. (laughs) On on his own (laughs) podcast. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to go I can't laugh so I can be uh, the the, like foible in comedy duos so I don't break. Because I have a really hard time laughing in the middle of of bits it's hard and so <laughs> have you have you heard us anyone <laughs> have you even heard us oh my god um no i'm gonna do it because you don't it's it's not like i can do it by accident i gotta turn that shit on yeah it's like i i crank that shit up to 11 and i'm like and we're the aristocrats <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone just falls down dead and like some sort of the dead. joker comic the killing joke but or uh, Tasha's is... hideous laughter or whatever. Oh it yeah, is. that's a good one. Yeah, knock you prone. Hell yeah. Um, that was our segment. We are now going to do a new segment. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna test test run a new segment. How much time have we got? Uh, we got enough. Okay. So this new segment was inspired by an older episode where we recast Hogwarts. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. Harry we Potter. Re- <laughs> we recast Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> recast the the castle of Hogwarts. Um, I'll play this brick and you play that brick. <laughs> so Jimmy's going to put forth a, a pop culture property, and then we're going to recast the, some of the characters. The characters with who we think would work good. This is this is that true true improv. <laughs> Cause uh, fucking we're we're gonna see. It's off the cuff, baby. Our uh, our 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 show 
Our show, our, oh, our, our you thing. Picked the we're, show we're picked the show this evening. We're gonna do Futurama. Oh, okay. It's already a, like a comedy thing. All right, so right off the bat, we've got Fry, Philip J. Fry. We got Fry. We got Leela, One Eye. Mm-hmm. We got Bender. Bender. We got uh, the Professor Farnsworth. Professor Farnsworth. We've got I forgot the, Zach Brannigan. The, the Jamaican's name. Uh. What's his name? Oh man, uh, Hermes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hermes Conroy. Uh, Scruffy. <laughs> and we got Scruffy. We got whoop, 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 whoop. Zoidberg. Okay, let's start with Zoidberg. <laughs> okay. Who is who's playing, playing Zoidberg? Who's playing Zoidberg in the Zeitgeist? Um, I think that uh, Rip Taylor. <laughs> See, last time we did this, we just did characters from other properties. And did Rip we? Taylor's, yeah. We did uh, Snape was played by Batman. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Somebody was Robocop. I'm pretty sure one of the teachers was Robocop. So instead, I, I hear where instead you're coming of from. Instead of actors, All right. other characters. Now, for Zoidberg. I'm going to say Burt Hanlon from Anchorman. Is he the main one? No. I don't remember. <laughs> he... I was not an anchor b- bro. <laughs> I saw it once. Steve Carell's character. Oh, he's extra dumb. <laughs> His character is how dumb am I? Yeah. He's just putting mayonnaise in the toaster. I remember that. <laughs> I think he would make a great Zoidberg. Man. He, uh, I hear, I hear you. Yeah, I hear where <laughs> what do you what do you, you are coming what, from? What's your argument? Who do you have He's against not it? Boisterous enough. I don't remember. He 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 had a grenade. Yeah, but like That's his his boisterous. energy isn't like. Oh, you know, like he's <laughs> he's not like. Uh, I think you're taking this far too seriously. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think of a counter a counter character, but now I have to think about characters and not real life people, so I have to remember. Every character. Oh boy! In oh no, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's brain's blowing up right now. <laughs> Kaboomers! I mean, we are surrounded in this outside gazebo with pop culture figures. Yeah. So uh, they are tiny pop figures, and I, yes. St- oh, hey! What about uh, what if uh, Zoidberg was Professor Farnsworth from from Futurama? Oh, the, Wait a the second! Funko, the Funko Pop was up there. <laughs> oh. I think uh, Fry the the one to one comparison for Fry would be um, Marty from, fu- uh, from yeah. Back to the Future. <laughs> That's fair. What if? Okay, how about this? How about this? Yeah. What if instead of Fry, we cheat just a little bit? Uh, and both Bill and Ted <laughs> is Fry. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Now I think I think Leela, Leela, badass is one eye, Faye Valentine. Oh, from Cowboy Bebop. That would be really fun, <laughs> but with one eye. Yeah, with one eye. Recast her. It's real big with one eye. Just redraw her. She's a cartoon baby, and she's already got purple hair. Shit. I think that's that's why I'm thinking. I think that's mostly the comparison. Yeah, that's where you got it from. <laughs> Maybe. All right, Bender. Bender's going to be played by um not RoboCop. Al Borlin from from Home Improvement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Al. He's... That's a good Zoidberg. <laughs> Which one? Al Borlin? Yeah, cuz like I know what I just said about being boisterous, but like Zoidberg's got like a little bit of pathetic, he is, yeah. and he's a little bit of the butt of the joke all the time, and that's Al to a T. Yeah, but Al's—I feel like Al isn't as ridiculous, you know. That is, that is true. Al's, Al's very straight laced, and that's why uh, Tim's always making fun of him because he's no fun. He's a damp blanket. That is true. That's very. I feel like you started us true. off on the hardest one. <laughs> I thought. Well, I, well, I started with actors. That's true. I would have oh my the error of my ways. Uh, maybe this is too weird and we should do actors, but uh maybe, let's see maybe how this we goes. We can just do both. Okay. Just leave the door open. Oh. Oh man, now I've got to think of all pop culture and actors. Oh, my brain is melting oh. out of my brain. What? Okay, is that let's go let's what about Zap Brannigan? Who's Zap Brannigan? Zap Brannigan should be played by 
Hugh Hefner. Ugh. <laughs> Living. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kind of joking, or... but you're taking this very seriously. No, okay, I, I don't remember the... <laughs> I don't know why the you know what I think is the is the real answer is mm. is Howard Stern. Howard Stern would be a pretty good <laughs> Zap Brannigan. You know? No, you just said that and I my mind went in like the fucking 3D pipes window uh, screensaver <laughs> down down shoots and ladders and I was like I know. <laughs> it was the Matrix. Yeah, I know I I know, I know pop kung culture fu. kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kiff. <gasps> Kiff. Kiff. I love Kiff. Uh, interacting with uh, fucking what's his bucket? Howard Stern's yeah. Zap Brannigan. Uh, Kiff the alien would be mm. Doogie Hauser. Who is that? Doogie Hauser was uh, Neil Patrick Harris's first oh, character. He was when the baby he, doctor. He was the tiny baby doctor boy. Is he a, a sad? A sadman? No. Okay. Wait. No. Okay. 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 Mm. I want. I. What? You know the uh, the sad attorney from Scrubs. <laughs> that character. I was thinking of Scrubs. Honestly, I was like maybe. Uh, yeah. Scrubs. I. I, I feel like it's because Scrubs doesn't stream Ted. anywhere. Ted. Yeah. Yeah. The, the lawyer. Scrubs is. I think one of the best shows. I think the first couple seasons were pretty good. Uh, once they went into medical school and Dr. Cox was like, ah, I'm still here. Uh, it, I don't it, remember it was, that part. It, it was so very maybe, late. Maybe I didn't watch was that. Late. Um, but... The first, like, three, four seasons were mm, mm, very good. But the the will they, won't they, on again, off again of, uh, of fucking JD and uh, Chalk's character. What's her name? Uh... uh well, yeah, whatever. Yes, her. Um, I, it got b- old for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, we love each other. No, we don't. We can't be together. Oh, but we love each I, other. I, I remember getting into that show, like, without having seen the first bunch of episodes, and then I rewatched, like, I, like, sat down and watched the whole first season yeah. when that became possible, and their their whole relationship began and ended in an episode Oh really? And I, and then and then then they had a history because they dated and then broke up in the in span of a twenty four minute fucking thing. And I'm that like, and that's what, the whole thing. That's probably when they didn't think they had more than one season. They're just hedging their bets. Maybe that was written by fucking the Clone High guys. Also. Oh no, kidding. Yeah. Oh cause... right, that's why everybody in Clone High is played by Scrubs people. Yeah, and they're bringing back Clone, Clone High. High. Yes. That's oh, very exciting. oh oh. Um. But not Gandhi. Bender. Bender. <laughs> Bender. Man. I, okay. Famous robots. <laughs> famous robots. I, I, I feel like I want him to stay a robot. Uh, Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist. He's not a robot. <laughs> He's a big metal man. He's a big metal soul. No, that's not. Who's the Who's the brother? Is that Alphonse? No, Al is the little brother, isn't it? No, Ed's the little brother. Ed's. Okay. Yes, I was correct. But Al's the... I mean, he's the, the larger metal brother. Full metal. He is full metal. And he's an alchemist. What if it was uh, Rob? Played by Rob. Just Rob. Rob, the Nintendo robot. I, you know, Rob is too kind-hearted. And what about... Gentle. What about... See, I don't think it needs to be a one-to-one. I think it's just... It doesn't always. Yeah. But... Who's a bad rootin' tootin' dude? You know, okay. Mm. You're gonna go with me on this. Spartan. Evil Spock. (laughs) Evil Spock. Plays Bender. So, like, Spock with the little goatee. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, okay. He's just drinking liquor. (laughs) Yeah. To fuel him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, to fuel him. Who have we missed? Did we uh, do Farnsworth? We didn't do Professor Farnsworth. Old as sin. Yeah. Um, Melty. <laughs> Melty. Bad eyesight. Has glasses. Um. Oh, Dumbledore. Done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, easy. We'll go back to the well. Easy peasy. Dumbledore is... Okay, so we've got Bill and Ted with their right hand man, Evil Spock, uh, and roommate, and roommate. 
Um, and then Faye Valentine, the anime character from uh, 3, 2, 1, Let's Jam. Yeah, Cowboy uh, Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is kicking butt yeah. while they're getting different missions from... Oh, what about a... Uh, what's what's the what's Kiff's girlfriend? Uh, Kim. Kim. Kimmy. Right. Kimmy. Pretty sure it's Kimmy. That feels wrong. Yeah. You said it real fast. I did. But we should just have the IMDb up when we're doing this. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's a <laughs> good idea for first... next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I mean you're gonna find out in a I second. Am. Here I go, finding out again. Who should play her, though? Amy. Amy. Not Kim. It's a three-letter. It's that fucking Amy and Kim switch them up that I have in my brain. Tell me about that. We have a neighbor whose name is Amy, Uh and I have always called her Kim. Why? I don't know. You got got brain problems, Dave? I got brain problems. (laughs) I always think the name Amy is Kim. That's wild. That's my mom's name. Right, Amy. <laughs> so. <laughs> I was just like, that worked exactly how I wanted <laughs> All right. So, uh, Amy Wong. Um, I think she should be played by Amethyst from. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> from uh, Steven uh, Universe. Who plays, who plays uh, Slugs McKenzie? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that, uh, you've never seen The League. Um, no, I mean, I've seen like an episode. Okay. Uh, there's a, there's a character on The League that I think would be a great Slugs McKenzie. I need to look up his name. Is that sh- I, I, I got, I didn't dislike it really, but it felt a little, a little too bro for me, even though I really liked. No, I, I really enjoyed it. I think David, David Le- LaJoy is his name. The YouTuber. I don't know. He was the guy who did show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Yes. Oh, yes. John LaJoy. John LaJoy, yeah. He plays a character named Taco. And he's um, just a big stoner man, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Uh, but Jason Manzukis Manzukis plays a character named Raffi, who I think would make a really good Slurms. Hell yeah. McKinsey. Um, but, yeah. Oh, and then uh, Con uh, Conrad. Conrad. Uh, we need to do Hermes Conrad. Oh, 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 oh the uh, Jamaican accountant. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. hmm. Uptight but ready to party. Full of catchphrases. Full of catchphrases. <laughs> Sometimes, like that kind of like like Futurama is is it's just one of the best shows, and it's, it's a pretty good one. There's not a lot of shows that get better the more you watch them. Yeah. Future always wanted because he just has a stupid thing, a stupid exclamation every episode, and it's different <laughs> every time. I kind of want to say for uh, Hermes Conrad, uh, the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, I think that would be pretty good. Hal, yeah. Hal from Malcolm in the Middle would make a good Hermes that. Conrad. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Was this good? I liked it enough. We could do. We could sprinkle this in. Was this anything? Alternate answer yeah. for Slurm is Mackenzie. Yeah, Gordy the pig. <laughs> daddy, daddy, take care of the family, son. <laughs> I will. I swear. They're oh, they're gone. I've instantly failed. They're gone. Not, they're that, all gone. not that he could have done anything to stop a bunch of humans. You know what he could do? Become the the owner of a multi-million dollar company. And how. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us for our podcast, uh, The Proud Jacuzzi Crew, that we just did. Don't forget to watch Gordy on your VHS player at so, home. So, uh, Jimmy is referencing a little side project that I've been uh, delving into. I have a, quite an extensive, I don't know about extensive, but a, a fairly large uh, bookshelf full of VHSs. And I've watched... Maybe a third. <laughs> Maybe a third of them. Um, and I need to clear them out. So I uh, will be live tweeting every time I watch a VHS from my collection. 
uh, giving it a little review and then deciding whether to keep it or get rid of it. Um, so if you'd like to follow along with those shenanigans, you can find me on Twitter at danger underscore Dane, danger Dane. Um, and that I will be doing my, my VHS project there. So please follow along. It should be fun. And you can watch Babe too. Perhaps next time Dane does this, he'll, I think he'll I announce it ahead of time. I think I own Babe. I meant Gordy. I said the wrong. See, they're so they're too they're they just meant, too similar. They meant Gordy too. Yeah. Oops. So uh Uh-oh. so yeah. But if Dane if Dane gives everyone a heads up, y'all can y'all can do it at the same I mean, time. Uh, I I I think I'll just start doing it. The same time. Yeah. Live. Is that a, is that a song? It's a uh, you just sing it. It was such a long time. It was it was a dick in a box. <laughs> such a long time. Now that's, those that's... are two characters we need to think about for Let's recasting. Recast them. <laughs> just recast them. <laughs> One of Bill them's... Bill and Ted. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Van Wilder. Sure. <laughs> and uh, Stifler. Uh, Stifler. Yeah. Bingo bango. <laughs> dick in a box, baby. Hell yeah. Good recasting. Um, <laughs> if you would like to send us any recast movies, uh, you can send them to the PJCcast at gmail.com or tweet them using hashtag the PJCcast. Uh, tweet them at us and we'll r- read them. We'll read your recast movies. Yeah. And any would you rather you have. Anything. Any, anything. Tell tweet us. Tweet us. Give us your, show, your sh- social security number. <laughs> <laughs> we'll read it out loud we'll on our podcast. You don't have to give us your name, Wink, uh, but wink, you can. But wink. you should. Wink, 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 but wink. You should. Um, I'd like to thank Brad T. Jonas for the use of our cover art. I'd like to thank Jordan for the use of our theme song. You can find them at Brad T. Jonas on Instagram and at underscore contaminants on Instagram. Uh, they do good work. Please check them out. Uh, what else? Oh, we release every Tuesday. That's right. Without fail. Even if Dane goes to Alaska, we release every Tuesday. Rain, sleet, or snow. But not internet outages. <laughs> that will prevent us. <laughs> I bet you could figure it out, Jimmy. Uh, no. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, you could figure it out. I, I believe had, in you. If I had data. Yeah, you got data. You got hella data, baby. Yeah. I'll let you use some of mine. I got unlimited data. I do. Not wow. to flex on you or anything, but I have unlimited it. data. I have the same amount of data muscles. <laughs> <laughs> they trick you, though. They're like, it's unlimited. After four gigs. And then we throttle you. After four? Nice. I, I mean, I've never experienced a throttling. Guess how much data I've used in a month. Like the, Since? The most. The most I've used in one month. A non-Alaska month? A non-Alaska month. I d- eight more or less way more oh we'll leave that for next episode it's 32 a <laughs> hundred he's giving me faces like way more I think it was like 54 <laughs> what st- were you downloading I just stream YouTube all night every night <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I do. I see. To fall on, asleep. On, on data. <laughs> Not on Wi-Fi. No. <laughs> Wi-Fi doesn't reach my room, baby. Uh, um, thank you all for joining us uh, for another week. My name is Dane. And I'm Jimmy. And have a good night and get home safe. <laughs> and remember, <laughs> when you're recasting movies... You can use both actors and pop culture figures. And remember, <laughs> if you recast the two of us, oh. choose Bill and Ted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the running joke now? <laughs> He's just going to put Bill and Ted in every... Oh, no! Oh, I called it! <laughs>